Happening now, terror before the typhoon. Good evening, I'm Yanji Denise. Paula Akana has the night off. As thousands in the Philippines watch and wait for super typhoon Hagupit to strike, people here in Hawaii are ready to help. KITV Force's Roger Mari shows us why this storm is so unnerving. Well, still recovering from Typhoon Haiyan a year ago, the same area is in the path of another super typhoon. This one might even spend more time unleashing its fury on the island nation. If we saw this in the United States, uh, we'd be terrified. Wait, this is a very strong storm. Tom Bedard's not mincing words. He's with the National Disaster Preparedness Training Center, and he says disaster is exactly what he expects in the Philippines. The country's still reeling from Typhoon Haiyan, and this storm brings a different threat and might hang around longer. We are most concerned at the moment as it slowly moves through the Philippines, dumping a lot of rain and forcing a lot of structures over with high winds. The Consuelo Foundation has been assisting in the recovery efforts in the Philippines following Haiyan. Now they will return with a better sense of what needs to be done. We had to make decisions to build very strong and to build in resilient ways, not just the physical. Uh, structures, but the to prepare people emotionally and socially. Hurricane season just ended in Hawaii, and disaster folks learned some lessons from the two storms that impacted the state. We're trying to transfer some of this uh, technology and know-how to the Philippines and and actually other communities in, in, in the region. It's one island nation assisting another get through a storm that could potentially bring life-threatening conditions. John Matsuoka of the Consuelo Foundation is flying out tomorrow to the Philippines. Ironically, it's a pre planned trip he made to dedicate a school destroyed in Typhoon Haiyan. Reporting live, Roger Mari, KITV4 News. Yanji, back to you. Thank you so much, Roger. Let's